glory, glory. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you again for joining us in the name of Jesus. I'm the pastor at the Heart of David International Ministries. Hallelujah. Pastor Dr. Mark Dean. I thank you for joining us for our midweek service. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Father God. There we go. Sorry about that. Hallelujah. All right. Let me go ahead and I'm going to pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come to you right now. In Jesus' mighty name, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we ask, Lord, that you bring this word forth with power, with anointing that destroys the yoke. We bind every spirit of fear and doubt. We bind every drawback spirit. We bind every spirit of suicide and giving up in the name of Jesus. We praise you, we honor you, and we magnify you in Jesus' mighty name. Now, Lord, I pray that you will anoint me to speak your word with power, Father God, that people be delivered and set free and saved, Father God, or whatever they're going through in the name of Jesus. We thank you for your anointing and your presence. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen, and amen. Thank you again, our midweek service. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. The past few weeks, we've been talking about prayer. Hallelujah. We've been talking about prayer, the power of prayer. We've been talking about there's different prayers. Woo, glory be to God. You can pray for forgiveness. You can pray for repentance. You can pray for healing. Hallelujah. You can pray for deliverance. You can pray for miracles. You pray for guidance. You pray for understanding. And you pray for wisdom. Hallelujah. So prayer is the fundamental thing that you need to keep your walk with Christ. Hallelujah. No matter what you do, whether God called you to be a bishop, an apostle, uh, a musician, a usher, a greeter, a children's church, you always got to have a prayer life. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Now, today, uh, we're going to change the subject just a little bit, but we're going to talk about the word and the power of the word, and who was the word, and who is the word. Hallelujah. We must speak positive things to ourselves. Hallelujah. We must speak positive things to ourselves and our mind. Our self-talk needs to be positive. Hallelujah. I am a child of God. I am a child of the King. I am going to be all that God said I'm going to be, despite of my short my shortcomings and my mishaps hallelujah despite of my mess ups hallelujah right now our subject today is i'm coming out of uh saint john one and one and i'm gonna use the text um in the beginning was the word in the beginning was the word the word let me just read verse 1 saint john chapter 1 verse 1 hallelujah in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god so what is he saying in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god right here we are talking about christ jesus in the heaven jesus was the word he was the word. He is the word. He came down here in the flesh. Woo! Glory to God. Let me read verse, hallelujah, verse 1 through 5. St. John chapter 1, verse 1 through 5. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. Hallelujah. And the light 
shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. The darkness comprehended it not. You can be in a very dark room, pitch dark, and you can get just a teeny bit of light, and you can see that it'll brighten up the whole area. Hallelujah. In the beginning was the word, that's Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Verse 5 say, and the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Now the light shined in darkness, and it comprehended him, it comprehended it not. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Let's go over to Hallelujah. Uh Isaiah 5 and 20. I used this last time, but we're gonna use it again because we need it. Isaiah 5 and 20 says, doo -doo, glory be to God. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and the light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. So now we're talking about today, whoo, there's too many people that can't, cannot comprehend the light. Hallelujah. The light is Jesus Christ. He is the light of the world. Hallelujah. Verse 5, St. John, verse 1, chapter 5. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. When he's talking about the light shineth in darkness, like I said earlier, hallelujah. And that darkness comprehended it not. You could be in a very dark room and then a little bit of light comes and it just, you see that light, it's there. You know it's there. We have to walk in the light of Christ. Why? Because we have to know his word. In the beginning was the word. Jesus is telling us what we need to do. We need to stop putting darkness for light and light for darkness. Hallelujah. The darkness comprehended the light not. It says, and the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. That is what we going through in the world, I believe. We got people putting so much stuff that's not Christ, and they're saying that it's okay. So they are in darkness. But when the light comes and somebody comes and tell them what the Bible says, what scripture says, they can't comprehend it. The first thing they say is, oh, I don't believe in the Bible or prove it to me. Before I have to prove to you that the Bible is right, you need to prove to me that the Bible is wrong. That's what you do. You prove to me that this Bible is not significant. Before you tell me, you prove to me that that uh, it's right. I know it's right because of what God has done in my life. I'm talking about my own personal experience. Even when I was down and out and didn't know where I was going, Jesus was there. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Now let's go down to verse 10. Hallelujah. St. John chapter 1, verse 10. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. So Jesus was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. And that's what we're going through. The world don't know who Jesus is. We sitting up here getting tattoos. We don't know what it says on the tattoos. We don't know what it means. We listening to, to uh, uh, artists, uh, singers, and they sit up here and tell you they don't believe in God. They don't believe in the Bible. And your excuse is, oh, I just think they're a good singer, and I just listen to the music. But it, 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 it's getting you into darkness. It ain't bringing you the light. It's bringing you the darkness because pretty soon you're going to start questioning, is, is the Bible right? Is the Bible real? We have to make sure we don't let darkness come into our life. Hallelujah. And take over what God has done. And we have to be careful with that. Don't let darkness... Hallelujah. 
take over the light that God put in you. Once you do that, you'll be in trouble because now it's hard to penetrate. It. The word is hard to penetrate through your heart, through your mind. Now you have a heart of stone and not a heart of flesh. You don't want to be in darkness because when you're in darkness, you think you're in light and you think it's okay. Again, there's a lot of these laws that they're passing don't have anything to do with God's law. It is totally contradictory to what the Bible says and what God says. So if that is the case, what is it? We can use the Bible. Everybody uses this Bible, good people and bad people, and they uh, use it for whatever they want it to. But you have to rightly divide the word of truth. You have to study this word. You have to read this word. You have to make sure that you're not putting darkness for light. You don't want darkness to take over your life. Did darkness take over your life? You can go to church for 50 years, and it won't do you any good. You have to seek God. You have to seek him with your whole heart, your mind, and your spirit. Again, that goes back to prayer. You spend time with Christ Jesus in prayer. You have to. That way the darkness won't overtake you. Yes, we have tests, and we have trials, and we have temptations, and we don't get everything right, but you don't ever stop running from Christ. You run to Christ. If you run from Christ, the devil had you. He separated you from your help. Now you're in total darkness. You don't even have that little speck of light shining in on the inside of you where you still can get some help because you ran from the help, which is Christ Jesus. Remember, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was with God. Jesus is the Word. That's who we put all our trust in, the Word. Not in ourself and not in man, in the Word. Hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let me read St. John's chapter 1, verse 14. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Okay, he's the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Jesus came and became flesh. Jesus walked this earth to show us how to live in this flesh. And you really don't understand it because he didn't have to come down here and do that. Jesus is already up in glory. He's already sitting on the right hand of the Father. Hallelujah. And he came down to redeem mankind. Hallelujah. Because we couldn't do it. Obviously, we couldn't do it. He came down to do it. He came down and washed us in his blood. He came down and took on the devil and made the devil back up. So now we can have light in our lives, in our bodies, in our eye gate, in our ear gate, in our mind. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You don't ever want darkness to rule you. You want to be in the light, the light of Christ. Christ is the only light. Not in Buddha, not in Muhammad, not in no Hindu. It's only Christ Jesus. Glory be to God. Only Christ is going to help you. Remember, Christ is the only one who died and went to heaven and, and took on the sins of the world, but he rose again. Jesus is not dead. He's up in heaven. He's interceding for you. Hallelujah. When the devil is accusing you, Jesus is saying, yeah, but I died for him. Woo! Glory to God. But I died for him. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, give him another chance. The shedding of the blood of Jesus, we really don't know how, how, uh, uh, how great that is. Jesus died what nobody else could do. It wasn't an animal sacrifice because that could have been done. We were doing that in the Old Testament. Jesus had to come down and take on the sins of the world and so we can see light in this world. Woo! Glory to God. We got to see light in this world. Even in the time that we're in with this COVID and, and these laws that's passed, 
that's going against God, that go against the laws of nature, we got to know that there's still light in this world, and that light is Jesus Christ. But how are you going to know it's light in the world if you don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ? Jesus is the answer. You don't have to look nowhere else. You don't have to look to no Greek fraternity or no uh, 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 becoming a Mason or, or Illuminati. Only Jesus Christ. Only Jesus is the light of the world. He's the one that's going to lead you. He's the one that's going to guide you. Hallelujah. In the beginning was the word. Now, the other half of it is we need to speak positive words to ourselves. Don't just encourage somebody else, and that's what you need to do. But you also need to encourage yourself. Encourage yourself in the word. You have to. You need to. If you don't regulate your mind, your mind become a playground for the devil. He put all kind of thoughts up in your head that you ain't never thought about before. You say, Who, where did that come from? Hey, keep your mind stayed on Jesus. Keep the light of this world in you. How do you do that? That goes back to praying. That goes back to reading the word. That goes back to seeking God. Hallelujah. You have to seek God and you got to seek the light of the world. Who the light of the world is Jesus Christ. There is no other. Whoo, glory to God. Hallelujah. There is no other light but Christ Jesus. All this other light going to take you straight to hell. It ain't going to get you into heaven. Hallelujah. There's only one way to get to heaven. That is through Jesus Christ. I don't care if anybody else tell you anything. That ain't the Bible. Hallelujah. We ain't talking about uh, uh, killing nobody and all this and that, but look, be bold. Jesus is the only way. They bold enough to tell you stuff that ain't got nothing to do with the Bible, so you be bold enough and tell them what thus said the Lord. This is the Bible, this is the word, and that's what I'm going by. Somebody asked me, well, how do you know it's right? And they was another religion. I said, I've seen God and work in my own life. They said, well, how do you know? I said, because I've seen it and I've experienced it. They said, it's wrong. And I said, I'll tell you what, we will find out on judgment day. That's how confident <clears throat> I'm in, I am in, in Christ Jesus. You have to keep the light of Christ in your life. I know it's a lot of things going on. Even with these children's uh, cartoons, you got to monitor what's, what's in these children's cartoons. Everything on TV today, whether it's an adult show or a children's show, they always have a witch or warlock, and they always got somebody that's a homosexual. Even in the kids' shows, even in the adult shows. So when you know they blatantly coming out and saying this is it, they telling you, you shouldn't say nothing. You, you offended people. How are we offended people and we preaching the gospel? We telling you what the Bible says. We ain't telling you what we think. This is the word of God. He is the creator of all things. He made heaven and earth. Hallelujah. In the beginning, whoo, God said, let there be light. So let there be light in your life. Let there be light in your life so you can show somebody the light that's on you so somebody can come and talk to you and they can see the light of Christ in you that you may be able to help somebody in some kind of way. Hallelujah. So your light can rub off on somebody else. You want to be a light. You want to be a bright light in Christ Jesus. You need to be a bright light in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We're going to read St. John's chapter 8, verse 56. Hallelujah. St. John's chapter 8, verse 56. Hallelujah. And it says, listen to this, Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, before Abraham was, I am. He said, before Abraham was, 
I am. He was there when God created the heavens and the earth. Hallelujah. Before Abraham was, I am. Because Abraham is the father of the Hebrews. He said, before Abraham, I am. I am mean I've always been there. Woo! Glory to God. I've always been there. Hallelujah. My God, my God. He said, I've always been there. So we have to understand that we have to keep that light in Christ Jesus. That's the only light you need to seek. The only light you need to seek. The only Savior you need to seek is Christ Jesus. He's the one that hold life and death in your hands. Glory be to God. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. You have to understand that, but you also have to believe that. You have to believe that Jesus is the word. Jesus is the light of this world, that he died for you. He rose on the third day. He took all your sins away. Hallelujah. And he's up right there, right now, sitting on the right hand of the Father. Jesus is Lord. There's none before him or beside him. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. Like I told you before, he the only one. And people call people the messiahs or whatever. He died, but he rose again. And Jesus has never died again. Hallelujah. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's go to Matthew 12 and 37. And we're going to close a little bit early today. I just want to make sure you understand that. Make sure your light is the light of Christ. Hallelujah. Make sure your light is the light of Christ. Hallelujah. Matthew 12 and 37. For by, for by thy words thou shalt be justified. And by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Now, this is where we talked about by thy words you should be justified, and by thy words you can be condemned. That goes back to you got to start speaking positive things to yourself, to other people. You speak positive words to them. Don't condemn them every time you talk to them. Speak positive to them. Let them know they can do it. Let them know they can get through it. But you also need to speak to yourself positive things. I'm going to make it through this. I'm good. I'm going to do this. The Lord is going to help me. I'm going to shout now. Like the song says, don't wait until the battle's over. Woo! Glory to God. You shout now. Hallelujah. So you want to be justified. Hallelujah. By your words. Glory be to God. Mm. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. You don't want to condemn yourself. You don't want to say, oh, I messed up. I always messed up. I don't never get nothing right. The devil is a liar. You need to start saying, hey, I may have messed up, but I'm going to get it right the next time. God is on my side. Hallelujah. That's where you bring in the light of Christ. You bring in darkness when you condemn yourself and say, I'll never do nothing right. I ain't going to never get it right. I ain't going to never get it done. The devil is a liar. I'm going to get it done. I may have had a couple of setbacks, but I'm still running. I'm still pushing. I'm still going to go get it. Why? Because God has strengthened me. I, I know I can't do it because if it's just me, but God is on my side. He told me to do it. He commanded me to do it. He ordained me to do it. I have the light of Christ in my life. Glory be to God. I don't want darkness to take over by condemning myself. Oh, I quit. I ain't going to never do this again. Hallelujah. God is your light. God is your help. God is your source. You need the light of Christ in your life, in your mind, in your heart, in your soul, and in your spirit, the light of Christ. Remember the first scripture, in the beginning was the word. Jesus was the word. Jesus is the word. What he says goes. 
He just told you, you can be justified by how you speak or you can condemn yourself. So you speak positive words to your husband or your wife. You speak positive words to your children, to your family member. Hallelujah. Something happened. Okay, it happened. Hallelujah. We're going to do better next time. That's all. And we're going to do a whole lot better next time. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Woo! Listen, you have to believe the word of God, not just reading the Bible. You got to have a passion for the word. You got to love the word, just like you love going to the gym and working out. You love basketball. You love football and track and field. Jesus is the one that you are supposed to love above all things, anything, everything, including people, including your wife, including your husband, including your children. Well, how can you do that? You give God everything. Hallelujah. And in turn, God will protect your family because you know it's only God that can protect you. You ain't with your kids all the time. You're not with your spouse all the time. You're not with your mom or your dad all the time. But God has protected them. How? Woo! Glory to God. Because there's a light in your life that God honors because you have the light of Christ. Woo! Glory to God in you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hey, remember to keep that light of Christ in you. That goes back again. I didn't know it was going to tie into this, but how does it do it? Like we've been saying, go back to praying. You got to pray. Go back to reading your Bible. Go back to studying your Bible. You have to do that to keep your light of Christ in you. And you want your light to grow brighter. Hallelujah. Brighter every day. Brighter every year. I know we have setbacks. I know we have shortcomings, but you want your life to, to get brighter every year, to get stronger every year. You need that foundation in Christ. That way you won't be putting darkness for light and light for darkness and bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. That's Isaiah 5 and 20. You don't want to do that. Hallelujah. We need the light of the world, which is in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We're going to end this a little bit early today. But before I do that, hallelujah, I want to know, have you ever given your life to Christ Jesus? Hallelujah. Have you ever actually given your life to Christ Jesus? Have you ever asked him, Lord, forgive me. I've sinned. I'm wrong. I need your help. I can't do it without you. Have you been sincere about turning your life over to Christ? Here go the problem. I ain't gonna start preaching. Here go the problem. People come to Christ, and once you come to Christ, people think they won't have any more problems. That is not true. Once you come to Christ, and you really come to Christ, the devil's gonna fight you because he don't have you anymore. He wants to destroy your confidence in Christ Jesus. But he can't do it if you got a hold on God. Let that light of Christ be on the inside of you. Hallelujah. For all those who may be out of fellowship with God or maybe even what you call backsliding, we're going to say a prayer together. Woo! Glory to God. Hallelujah. We're going to say a prayer. Hallelujah. Just follow after me and be sincere about it. Hallelujah. God honors your prayer. As long as you're sincere and it's coming from your heart, hallelujah, he's going to honor it. So for, for those who don't know how to pray or don't know what to say, follow me, repeat after me, hallelujah. And God will honor your prayer because you said it out of the sincerity of your heart. All right, so let's pray. Lord Jesus, we ask that you forgive us right now, Lord. For all of our sins and everything that we've done that was wrong. Everything that we've done that went against your commandment and your laws. We are sorry. I'm sorry, Lord. Lord, I want to be right. In the name of Jesus, I want to be your child. I want to be in your kingdom. In the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for saving me. 
I thank you for forgiving me for all of my sins. I am saved and I thank you, Lord. Continue to help me to grow in Christ Jesus. Amen, amen. If you said that <clears throat> and you are sincere, you are saved, okay? Now you go to praying, you go going to read your Bible, and, you know, sometimes you have to get new friends. Some places you don't need to go. Hallelujah. So remember, God loves you. You are saved. I don't care what anybody else tells you. You're going to have friends that tell you they're going to give you a week. They're going to give you six months. They're going to give you two days. You are saved. Keep your mind stayed on Jesus. Let him be that light in your life hallelujah once that light in your life get bigger some of your friends or so-called friends won't want will not want to hang around you anymore so i thank you again for joining us at our midweek service we look forward to seeing you again saturday at 9 a.m and 5 p.m pacific time hallelujah i'm the pastor at the Heart of David International Minister, Ministry, Dr. Mark Dean. If you would like to give a love offering, you can go to hodim.org. If you would like to give me, uh, shoot me an email, you can do it at hodim1117 at gmail.com. I look forward for seeing, to seeing y'all again on Saturday. God bless you. Have a good evening. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.